Hi, I'm Elias Calderon. I'm a sophomore and I'm with Engineering and Robotics. Now, Engineering and Robotics is a very specialized program. It's uh, very unique and one of the uh, most unique uh, opportunities for students, not just on this campus, but in the high desert. Uh, we have what I would consider to be the best program in all of the high desert. Um, and I would even go as far to say we have one of the better programs in the state. Our robotics program encompasses CAD. Uh, we also teach software like C++, Python, Java, engineering and manufacturing and software development, teamwork. Uh, the students have to write a business plan, have to do accounting on all this, they have to do financial management, uh, advertising, all that needs to be done within this program. What they're learning here is how to take sheet metal and blend it around a radius. Okay, and we call it splines. And this uh, project, they were in the second phase of it, and they started off with just being able to mirror something and then be able to blend it together. So what you're seeing in some of these uh, screens is that process going on and at different stages and at different levels uh, of, of completion. So if we move down through this, uh, where we pretty much have gotten uh, to a point where the project is almost done and we get to the point where we actually take the car and make it look like it's on a street. We do all the lighting, you know, do all the animation part of it. It's all done here. So that's pretty much a completed project. He's gone through the engineering process. He's learned how to do all of the skin, gone through the engineering uh, where we do the uh, uh, aerodynamics, okay? So we're going through all those uh, drag coefficients and stuff of that nature. You see that portion here, different colors represented by different stress levels and, and things of that nature there. We are very lucky in the sense that we are allowed to get sponsors that other uh, school programs are not allowed to. So we do get sponsored by General Atomics, which is not a local business, I wouldn't say that, but it is that they do have a facility here. Um, same thing with Lockheed Martin. And uh, they give us donations in money, um, technical support, advice, and all sorts of things. Uh, we also work really closely with Exquadrum Engineering, and they are just, they are fantastic. Um, they are local, actually, and we just adore them. They, they send professionals. Um, they give us something that I personally think is a lot more valuable than money. They send professionals over here to give us one-on-one -on -one lessons on machining, and that is just so invaluable. That is something that is just so amazing because you feel so secure knowing that, hey, these, I'm working with these professionals, and the work environment is just... Um, I wouldn't say it's like any other department in the school because it's definitely professional. It's very safety first. You got to get your work done and it, and it really does prepare you for the real world because that's just what it's going to be. You're going to have deadlines and you're going to have real work to do. And it really teaches you that, hey, um, we got to make a hex in a circle. How, how are we going to go about that? And you got to think about that. And it's, it's just a great time. And having these professionals teach you these trade secrets, it's, it's awesome. Um, so this is last year's robot. This is uh, Influx. So four people were able to build this robot, essentially, which is, st under standard conditions, a job for, uh, for a couple hundred students. So I, I like to think that, or no, I don't like to think. I know for a fact that we're getting a higher education because most students, what they'll do, you know what they'll do? They'll do one thing. They'll have one job, put in a screw, and you do that over and over again, and they don't learn anything. But they're part of an engineering team, so they go out into the, into the engineering field thinking that they know what to do, but they haven't gotten any real learning. But because we're a team of four, we can do everything. Everyone can program, everyone can design, everyone knows how to CAD, everyone knows how to build. And you can actually get your CAD certificate at Hesperia High School. Um, we'll, we'll administer a test, you can pass that test, uh, you're guaranteed a CAD certificate, and that says that, hey, I know how to use computer-assisted design, you can hire me. 